Beth, to your phones. It's Le is it Levi? Yeah. Hi, Levi. You are uh, you are in executive session. You have the floor. Good afternoon. Thank you for taking my call. Yeah. So you know, all part of like what I just consider a psychological operation. The uh, director from Woodrow Wilson called it a sophisticated operation. Mm -hmm. Psyops. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we all know this exists. Um, it's not like this isn't stuff the corporations are going to adapt to because essentially that's where the military gets their funding. Mm -hmm. So they conduct the research. And this is, you know, part of the conclusion to use this in the field as practice. Yeah, so let me ask you a question because you pointed to something, I think you pointed to something really interesting. Um, that there are techniques that are used in advertising. Right? That are... Would go way back, you know, about these. Yeah. So the the so uh, one of the questions to kind of look at is, is there a difference between what, oh, say Coca Cola is doing to sell their soft drinks, and what the president is doing to sell whatever it is that he's selling? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Know, he's definitely like a body bag. I mean, he's gonna take the blow for the oppressive class. How do you mean? He's a member of, I mean, essentially, basically a water board, but I mean, he works for them. You know, so they, they got they got him by the, the noose. I mean, you know how much dirt they would have on this guy by now? Well, it's a possibility. I mean, he doesn't know how to control himself. Yeah. He so, seems to have uh, he seems to have some, some fairly poor impulse control sometimes. Well, you know, well... Hey, he's got the floor, so... Yeah, <laughs> he does that. He's got the bully pulpit. The interesting thing is that he, he wasn't the first one talking about this fake news, that, you know, it was being discussed across the communication channels, mm -hmm. you know, to present the idea that, that this does exist, almost creating some kind of an alarm, and then, therefore, um, as a result, you know, we see the artificial intelligence, whatever, it's intercepting the communications and making determinations about what people should see or not even the uh guest on uh richard wolf which i was very you know, skeptical about she did actually point that out that means that people get their information from from facebook and that they're going ahead and and, and and weeding out you know and showing people what they choose people to see and of course that's what they're gonna think yeah that's what we see in pictures and images and messages is what we ultimately think yep. I knew a guy, I studied with a guy once, I studied with a guy once who said, if you give people the language they think with, you pretty much determine the outcome of their thinking. Does that register? They're speaking, they're speaking to people in, in the language, yes, that they would choose to hear, that, that makes their life more convenient, and people always love to listen to somebody who wants to, you know, glorify that person. Yep. Confirmation bias, Levi. So, what is the result then for, you know, like material, you know, gain? For so the question, let me, let me, let me see what's in That's a, that is all extremely interesting and you've obviously looked at this considerably. So, uh, uh, let me restate the question. How do you find your way to factual information among all those actual attempts at misleading you? Well, for one, I can kind of listen to somebody, and, and you might call it prejudice, but I got something inside of me that said, this person's not telling me the truth. Ah. I can hear it in the way that they speak. You got one of those little alarms that goes off in the back of your head, huh? A BS meter? Well, I wouldn't say that, you know, perfect. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know how sometimes you listen to somebody talk, and you just, you just, you just, no, it's not right. Got it. You just know by the way that they're acting because of what most of these people do. They're professionals. Yeah. You know, I, I've got a graduate degree in business, and I, I know what it's all about. You you work for those corporations as most people. These people get on the air, and they talk about, I think, you know, and this and that. It's all an act. They're mm -hmm. not thinking for themselves. They have a script. Their idea is to make it sound natural. Okay. They really can't, you know? All right, Levi, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you bringing that.